Hi, and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to take a look at the super powerful and convenient dget function. This can be thought of as an alternative to using VLOOKUP. Now, if you've ever used VLOOKUP in the past, you know that one of the challenges with VLOOKUP is that the unique identifier that you're going to use to try to find a record in your data set must be the leftmost column in your data set to find anything that's associated with it, those elements would have to be to the right. So in other words, this invoice ID column, which would be, say, a unique identifier, would have to be to the left of sales rep and location if we want to retrieve those values with VLOOKUP. The other challenge with VLOOKUP is you have to know the column number of the data you're trying to retrieve. So if invoice ID was on the left and we were to find a certain ID, and we want to retrieve, say, the shipper, you'd have to indicate the number five in your formula to pull back data from the fifth column. It's a little inefficient. Now, you can enhance that with the match function, and if you want to explore that, take a look at my video called uh, VLOOKUP with match, so you can give VLOOKUP a boost in finding the appropriate column. But DLOOK, or DGET, rather, gets rid of both of those limitations. To prepare, I've got a data set here, and I've got a range of data that I've named uh, invoice data. So this entire range from A1 to F32 has been called invoice data, and I've got a range that I've uh, selected for the headers. I've named that invoice data headers. That's simply for convenience. You don't have to use name ranges for this process, but it certainly makes writing your formulas a little cleaner. So let's say I wanted to find out who the sales rep is for invoice number, uh, let's say 1016. So I'll type in 1016, and I'm going to use the dget function. So dget, open paren. The first parameter of dget is asking me what is the database or range of cells that I'll be using. And I'm going to indicate invoice data as the range that I'll be doing my lookup in. Comma. Now here's one of the first beautiful things is that I don't have to know, for example, that the field I want to retrieve uh, is the first column in the data set. I can simply select cell A1 or you could even type in sales rep in the field in the in the formula this way, or you could also put a number one like you would do with a VLOOKUP formula. In this case, I'm just going to click on the cell containing the header value. Uh, sales rep and then comma and here's what's so great the third component called criteria I can just select invoice ID 1016 so the dget function is going to look in this range called invoice data it's going to find the matching column that matches this text invoice ID so it's going to go to this column and look for 1016 but then tell me what's in the column under sales rep so we can see that for 1016, the sales rep is Elaine. Now what's great about this uh, dget function uh, is that you can switch it around. So instead of saying, I wanna, you know, instead of clicking on cell A1 to specify sales rep, I can click on J1. Now, so I've got sales rep mentioned here and we see that it still works. But the beauty is I can now change what's in J1 to something like item and so when I change it to item it then finds the item column over here and so 1016 was the sale of a Nintendo switch so it's a lot more flexible and I don't have to use a helper function like match to determine the appropriate column it will find the column for me just off of its spelling and then looking at the database range that I've indicated now to enhance this even further what I'd like to do is create a drop-down list of acceptable values in cell J1. I mean, if instead of location I typed city, then I'd get an error because there is no column heading labeled city. Of course, location would work just fine. So I'll click on J1, and you might recall that I have a range called uh, invoice, uh, invoice data headers that goes across the range at the top. So in cell J1, I'll go to my data tab, data validation, 
and in my data validation tool, I wish to create a list style validation, the source of which is that range called invoice data headers. So now, cell J1 has a pull down arrow, which are the options from that range, those headers. So I can select any one of those headers and it pulls back the appropriate value. And again, uh, I don't have to be concerned with finding the column number myself. The dget function is using what I've got in cell J1 to identify the column back in the main data set. So that's dget in many ways superior to vlookup. Um, I hope you appreciate it. I hope you can use it and become more efficient with your lookups. Thanks again for checking out the video. Please come back soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr. Have a great day.